Hi guys, we're up here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to my Terror Tech Series Season 6, Episode 3. So today, Terror Tech Tuesday. Yes, this is Terror Tech Tuesday. Uh, because we do this every Tuesday, let's call it Terror Tech Tuesday. Why not? Um, so today, I have big plans today. My goal is to start separating my base into multiple different bases that perform different functions. So I would like to have this, well, until they get to a point where you can set up your conveyors to accept or not accept certain materials. In other words, right now, everything kind of mixes together in this big mishmash. Um, so I'd like to set up separate different bases that manage different materials and uh, store different materials as well so that I can kind of put them all together in a little fabrication system. So it's, there's going to be like four bases in the end and all of them need their own defenses, their own AI modules, etc, 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 etc. Alright, so to get all this working properly, we're going to need some serious materials. Um, we, we also need to upgrade our vehicle so that it can have a shield generator operating on it at all times and of course we need well, well we need a lot of things and primarily what we need is rare and unique minerals whoa hold on okay so somebody was saying that my reason my there uh, your base doesn't shoot at enemies unless it's on follow so there we go that was why it wasn't shooting last time <laughs> thank you I forget to mention that but uh, thank you very much okay so for some reason I couldn't turn there Ah, uh, bad guys. It's nice when your base shoots. That's really nice, actually. It's really, really nice to have something that shoots back. And I keep getting stuck on my own base. There we go. <laughs> Still got one gun. He's determined, anyway. Okay, so we're gonna take, uh... Oh. Gotta be careful, because my... I've got some pretty valuable parts sitting on the outside of the shields here, and we want to make sure that they stay intact. So I'm just gonna add some armor here. I, this is all temporary. Like I said, we are gonna be rebuilding this whole thing, and I want to build a wall around everything, and with lots of guns, and we're gonna need lots and lots and lots and lots of specialized materials, like the Titania, and uh, Rhodius, and uh, yeah. So let's start off by working on our power for our base, and maybe getting some, some more shield generators. So right now, uh, we did manage to build one battery last time, but the problem is the battery don't, batteries won't charge on the base. Uh, that solar power, power generator is enough to produce enough power to produce the two bubbles, the regenerator bubble and the shield bubble. But it's not enough to actually re replenish a battery or even send power via wireless charger to my own vehicle so that I can have my own batteries and stuff, or my own power. So we need to fix that. And in order to do that, we need a more taller, tall solar generators. And that requires Terraria, Fulminia, and Bos B Bosonia. Sorry, I hope I'm pronouncing those right. Uh, oh, it looks like we need to... Uh, hmm. We should uh, regenerate our little front piece there. And uh, so, <laughs> we need to get some, some rare materials. So the Rhodius is one of them. The Titania is the other. And so Titania for the uh, Terraria. And then the uh, Rhodius is for the Fulminia. And then the... Ba Bosonia? Bosonia? We need the Rudian. Well, Rudian's no problem. We know where to get that. That's that's the green stuff right here. But we need to go get some more of the uh, other stuff. Uh, we'll just dump that too as well. Okay, so let's let's go. We've got to go get some stuff. Alright, fast forward. Yeah, we knew that was coming. Uh, okay, so... <sighs> blast! Okay, I just got out here. <laughs> okay, let's go back. We are going to get attacked by an invader. Uh, I think the best chance we have is maybe uh, near the base, but uh, we've got to be careful because I don't want to lose any of these valuable refineries and stuff. So let's let's maybe move those onto the side with the shields. Yeah, like that. And the scrapper, which we still have. We're going to get that running this episode, I'm hoping. The scrapper is what we can use to actually break down the parts that we've got lying around here for materials, valuable materials. And that's that's important. Uh, we, do, we just cannot lose these refineries. Or the... Uh, Fabricators, they are everything right now. Okay, and unfortunately, we're not going to have a shield. Uh, I suppose we could... I don't know. I don't know. We, we could take that bubble off. <laughs> the uh, the uh, regenerator bubble, bubble. Oh, here we go. Okay, so here he comes. Uh, big... Oh, great. Freaking fantastic. Oh, he looks terrible. All right. Uh, base is set. So the base has to be set to follow in order to fire back. Okay, oh, he's, he's like all Geocorp. Now, maybe I can just take off those weapons. That would be amazing. It's a Payload Studios design. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. For some reason, the guns... I, I, oh, they're nice! Very nice, okay. I would like those wheels, actually. 
I don't know if they're gonna survive this. Oh man, come on, shoot! Okay, the, my artillery can't actually hit him when I'm too far away. Okay, there we go, he's done. Yeah, he's finished. Uh, now, what did we lose? Uh, doesn't look, look like we, we lost anything, that's great. And actually, I will take those big tires. Perfect, perfect, and yeah, we'll definitely have to repair. Uh, there's three of them, ah, oh, if only there was four. Why is there only three? Man, um, I don't want to waste any of these big tires though, because uh, they're probably going to be a huge pain to build. I knew as soon as I left the base, there was just they were just waiting. There's like as soon as he leaves, get him, get him. <laughs> uh, I suppose I could just stick this on top of the base and let it heal. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> did that go underneath the base? Ah, bugger. Uh, uh, the big tire just vanished. I'm sure it attached itself under the base or something silly because it does stuff like that. All right. Well, let's go grab the other one here. <laughs> ah, quirky. I like it. It's funny. Funny quirky, though. I like funny quirky. Funny quirky is good. Uh, ooh, that, there. Will you heal there? Perfect. Right on. Okay, so there. Ooh, big tires. Big back tires. I like that. Ooh, kind of sleek. I like that. I like it a lot. We can actually get rid of these other little doodaddy tires. Well, they offer some protection, I guess. I don't know. Backup, just in case. Uh, yeah, that looks really cool. That looks really, really cool. Very neat. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Um, hmm. Maybe, yeah, there's no... We don't, <laughs> there's, we, there's no way we can repair these stupid things unless we... I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to move all that stuff to the other side. Okay, sorry, I gotta move all this again. Then I'll put it back. Just gotta, I gotta repair the, the front doodads on our vehicle. Oh, somebody's streaming TerraTech again. Yeah, last time, oh, actually, these are valuable, these blocks too, you know? Uh, yeah, last time lots of people were, uh, people seem to be streaming it quite often. So yeah, it's, it's getting some attention, that's good. It's good, I'm really glad. Uh, maybe, are those two blocks? I'm not sure. Nope. Okay, so maybe... Ah, uh, that one is. Alright, uh, we'll stick that one in. Like so. And uh, we'll stick these in behind after we heal that one. Now, these blocks, of course, they're way heavier uh, on your vehicle. But um, they are, of course, far more resilient than the grey GSO blocks. The Geocorp blocks are uh, amazing. And, yeah... Definitely worth having on your vehicle. Um, kind of got a, a mishmash of weapons on this vehicle. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Hold on. Just one second here. What are we going to do? <laughs> he had a whole bunch of... And I still want to have this, too, as well. Yeah, I don't want to lose that. And actually, that's pretty important. So... I cannot attach resource junks to my deck. Uh, so, yeah, there has been a patch, actually, since the last time we played last week. There's actually been two patches. Uh, funny. What? I hear stuff. I hear stuff. There's. Th I think they added sounds to the game, like new sounds. I, I, that makes me really happy. I like, I like, the new, I like new sounds. I like new stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, they've, there's been two patches. One of them was to add uh, French support, and I think uh, they're adding Polish support. And uh, they've added more bad guys, because they like to add bad guys. And that's good. I like bad guys. And uh, I think they, they made some changes to the UI, apparently. Uh, depending on... I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what changes they've made to the UI, but they, they did make changes to the UI. Okay, I don't know if that's better than what I had. I feel like, I feel like that thing's just kind of sticking out now, but I don't know. Throw a few of these there. I don't know if that'll help or not. Uh, yeah, I'm not happy with that. Ah, oh, no, didn't mean to do that. No, come back. <laughs> oh, man, okay. Um, I guess we don't need to take along all this stuff. We can we can add. Now, I, I don't feel bad leaving my, my weapons with the base because, of course, the base is a great place to keep them because it will keep, it, it fires at the bad guys. Makes me happy. Um, it's weird just to have one of those there, but that's okay. Uh, let's, oh, the AI module? Was that not attached to the base? Okay, weird. Weird. Yeah, we're going to need lots of lots of stuff. So anyway, it, uh, the invader's done. Let's go grab some stuff. Seems like it's a little chunky. 
In other words, it's not driving smooth like it was. And I'm wondering if it, I might have to make those tires lower. Oh, let's try it here. Like that. Uh, no, that's actually worse. It's, the front tires can't actually hit the ground now. Uh, let's try that. Hold on. Let's try that with the tire the way it was before. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, that might work. Yeah, there we go. There, that's better. Ooh, it looks a little like it's a little flippy. By flippy, I mean it's going to flip over at any time. So yes, the base is kind of a mess right now. We are gonna fix that. It's just we need we need to get some we need to get some fancy parts. We need some solar panels so that we can charge lots and lots of shields. And of course, we need parts to build shields. Uh, so yeah, it's a little flippy. It looks like it's it's ready to flip over at any time. I wonder if we maybe there's a new sound when you pull off a part. Listen. Oh, maybe not. I'm sure I heard something. I'm not going crazy. I know I heard something. So I'm gonna put this one. Ah, yeah, okay. No sound. I thought I was sure I heard something. Okay, so let's go see if we can get some stuff. And uh, let's drop off these resources. There's no reason why we need to be carrying those with us. We need to have room for new stuff. We may need to add some more weight to the front of the vehicle because now it looks like it's ready to flip over in the front. Yeah. Maybe we could flip those down too. Sorry, I'm just kind of messing around here. There we go. There. <laughs> Okay, here we way we go. Uh, I don't want to mess with that guy, so I'm not gonna take the thingy there. So these these things here. Oh, there's I can take him. I think I can take him. Maybe. Hold on. Means I gotta turn. Turning sucks. Wait, how did my wheel get so damaged? I thought I fixed the wheel. Ah, reverse always sucks. You know, I think I need to adjust those. Uh, the uh, what should I call it? Um, the artillery. The artillery pieces are shooting too far, so I, I think I need to do the old trick of having them. Ah, oh, darn it! Darn it! <laughs> ah, it drives me crazy when I do stuff like that. Okay, so yeah, want that, and we want that, but I, well, I want to put this artillery piece. Turn it upside down like that, so then it should hit targets that are closer, right? Uh, we don't need any of this other stuff. Okay, so these should, blocks like these should have Titus in them. We need a lot of Titus, we need a lot of Rhodius. Rhodius is a, I think the Rhodius is a more rare one. Yeah, nothing in that one. Okay, oh, uh, ooh, he's got armor. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, more interested in just finding materials. <laughs> ooh. Oh, he's interesting. Oh, isn't he neat? That must be one of the new guys. Neat. I might just have to go beat him up because he's got those. He's got more wheels. I like the wheels. Okay, so there's some Titus. Uh, let's get rid of this. Get rid of this dirt. Can kind of chuck it. Ooh. Ah, man. Somebody had suggested. Uh, I think it was uh, Faulty Leyline had suggested. You know, maybe they should make it so you have to shift click to grab stuff. That would be kind of cool. Um, that way you don't have to, don't, wouldn't be worried about grabbing the parts. So these suckers here, these little vents, should have Rhodius. Rhodius is that special fluid. Um, ah, two of them. Not, no, no Rhodius. There's still a chance that they won't have it, of course. Uh, we'll bring a couple blue crystals back, but they're, they're not hard to get a hold of. They're, they're pretty common. More common than the other two. Uh, yeah, that's probably more than enough. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's see. Seems some more Rhodius over here. <laughs> we we lose it all anyway once we start driving. <laughs> uh, it's I'm more worried about the Titus and the Rhodius. We just need more of those. Oh, there's one Rhodius. Okay. Yeah, you know, it, it could take a while to actually get a fair amount of that stuff. There we go. We don't need that rock. Waste. All right, and uh, oh, these might have Titus. I feel like mining means something now. Like it's it's not. It seemed like such a pointless activity because you could just get anything you wanted from destroying vehicles, and now uh, it's a very different story because you know these vehicles are not. They don't have shield systems. Or uh, well, the, I guess some of the invaders might have shield systems and stuff, but they don't have things like the solar panels. Like that's 
yeah. And they, they don't have enough batteries to make it worth your time, you know, or worth your while. And even if they do, like, who wants to be fighting invaders with shields and stuff? Like, you, they kick your butt if they're too big. They just kick your butt. Uh, okay. I... Oh, man. Okay, let's see if we can get back to the base. Oh, no. <gasps> That's not good. Oh, see, I got excited and I went too fast. Okay, so let's see if we can get back to the base. Oh, uh, I hope this is the right way. I think this is the right way. 48 seconds. <laughs> I kind of like the way they do invaders now. I, I, I know I've complained about it in the past, but uh, I, I, did we go the right way? I don't think we went the right way. Uh, we just have to get back to the base. Where's the base? Uh, I wish there was a beacon or something for the base. Uh-oh. Uh ah, damn it. The problem with this vehicle is that if I run into any funny terrain, it flips over. It goes too fast. Like, it's not heavy enough. Um, it's really back heavy right now because it's got all the, the stuff. I'm in trouble. I don't know where my base is. <gasps> oh no, guys! Oh no! I... Uh-oh. Uh, uh we don't even have a radar. Uh, maybe if we had a radar, it would show where our base is? I don't know. I think we're just lost in the desert now. Mole rat. We've seen mole rat before. I think he's worse than it sounds. Mole rat doesn't sound too bad. I think we just went in a complete circle. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. We're in trouble. We need to get back to the base. I'm pretty sure the salt flats, so the, the, the blue area that we're in, the salt flats are the furthest away. I think if we head this direction, we should start to see... Uh, okay. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Is that the shield, dude? Um, I hope so. Nope. Uh, nope. Totally different dude. Uh, are we lost? We might be lost. Oh, no. Uh, we should take a look at Mole Rat and see what he's like. Oh, he's really far away. Okay, that's good. Okay, I think if we had a little... Oh, there's... This might be it. This might be home. <laughs> Run! <laughs> One stream. Somebody, somebody's playing it a lot online or uh, streaming it. Okay, so this is good. I, I recognize this area. I think we're we're close to home. I think. <laughs> okay. Doesn't hurt to have some wood anyway. <laughs> we lost home. Oh, there it is! Yay, we made it back. Okay, so let's make sure the base is on follow. So it seems like the base switches from. Follow to harvest sort of on its own. Um, okay, so let's... Oh, yeah, okay. Well, let's go to the other side. We'll unload this stuff. And then uh, Mole Rat will probably come storming in here. Okay, good, 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 good. Nope. Ah! Nope! Ah. Man, why does it try to take stuff back? Ah, that drives me crazy. No, stop it! Okay, there. That solves that problem. <laughs> okay, so the invader is on its way, but we should have enough to build. As long as the invader doesn't kill us here, we should... Uh, all that stuff is going to refine while we're fighting, and we should have enough... Ah, blast! We should have enough to build a whole bunch of uh, specialized ore. Oh, come on. Really? Ah! Stupid thing. Okay, turn! There we go. Now we lost some of the ruby crap here. It's not ruby, it's something else. I forget what it's called. Okay, let's go bring that back. <laughs> uh, oh, we can't afford to lose that Titus either. Stuff's too valuable, because every time you leave leave the safety of the, the grasslands, you get attacked by invaders. Oh, come on. Come on, really? Oh, freaking frustrating. Stupid thing. <laughs> Bloody alpha. Okay. See if we can do this. Get ready. Dump. There we go. I'll just take that one. Manually put that over here. And, uh, yeah. Perfect. I suppose we could just stick that back on there, but that's okay. Perfect. Okay, so where's Mole Rat? Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, maybe he's, he's lost. That's cool. Okay, that's fine. We're going to start working on some stuff because no time like the present, right? And uh, I'm not happy with my vehicle all of a sudden. I, d I don't feel like it's balanced. I don't feel like I could do enough damage. That's So we'll have to work on that too. But for now, let's see if we can't... Okay, so these are Titus. We need to build a solar panel. And the solar panel is one of the trickier ones. Oh, we need some... Oh, we've got it. We've got everything we need. Okay. Ah, oh, man. I shouldn't have moved that way. Oh, 
Bloody hell. Okay, so let's get our refinery, which is... Which one? This is a two-slot refinery. Okay. Ooh. Keep that there. So the two-slot refinery, we're going to grab some Plumbius and... Nope. Uh, Titus and Plumbius. Maybe. No, that's not Plumbius. Careful. <laughs> nope, not Plumbius. <sighs> oh, we don't want... Uh, that's a gun. <laughs> really? No. <sighs> Frig's sake. Really? Okay. Hold on. Let's see here. There. Let's take it from this side. There we go. There's one. Okay. Eventually, like I said, we're going to have... Uh, what I want to do is build a three different... So that should be Terraria? Is that right? Yes. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to build three or four different uh, bases, like all sort of interconnected, but with different materials uh, being produced at different portions of the base because this sucks. And it's going to be organized in such a way that it's, it's much easier to uh, grab onto things too. And this one is going to be the Rhodius, which is the little fluidy one. That one. Perfect. No, no. And then Mole Rat's going to come storming in here and mess with my plan. Uh, I defeated Mole Rat. Uh, somebody must have destroyed him out in the field. Awesome. So I guess that's a tactic. He probably got uh, beat up by a bunch of either uh, guardians or just random dudes. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so there we go. So there is the Fulminia. And now we just need the Bos Bosonia. Uh, which is going to be uh, right. It's never easy. Nope, not that one. That one, yes. And that and the Plumbius should give us the third one. Yes! Oh, yes. Is the base on? Nope. There, the base is on. There, didn't even have to move. Love it. Okay, and now... Perfect! And now all we have to do is grab the three-slot fabricator. <laughs> three-slot fabricator. Perfect. And we're going to grab the three materials. The three special materials. One, two, three. Terraria, Bosonia, and Fulminia. And I could just put a receiver on there. That'd make it a little bit easier. That way we don't have to uh, mess with it too much. There we go. Oh, look at that! It spit out! A solar power generator! I love it! Okay, so now, let's just test to see if that starts to recharge that battery. Oh, they are fully recharged now. But that, the, the, okay, so, that's okay. That's okay. We're going to need those, um, but, and I'm going to organize them differently, but I'm just, I'm just really excited I actually got something built. Uh, okay, long story short, apparently I wasn't recording for the last little bit, and a lot's happened since then. I got attacked again by another invader. Well, we had to go out and get to build some more stuff so that we could build, uh, start separating our bases and stuff. And I got attacked, and I almost died, actually. It was, it was a terrible fight, and I was, it was probably a good thing it wasn't recorded, because it was embarrassing. But anyway, um, so, I've accomplished a lot since then, and primarily we were able to, uh, well... Ignore, ignore some of these Geocorp parts. They were just there for filler and for fun. Uh, and we were able to build, start building our second base. So basically, we got another single refinery, another shield generator, and we got another battery. So Nat's, a Nat is all attached via that little Tesla thing. And so we need to get um, more... I think we need some more of the uh, solar panels. And, of course, the base, I need to rebuild now. I think that's a good idea. Let's do that right now so that we can make things look, start to look a little nice and it'll kind of make more sense. Okay. Mark and say go. <laughs>
Okay, we're learning things. Uh, okay, so first off, Tesla or the wired wireless charger will only closest. So in other words, when I take this one off, it starts charging the other side. And when I put that back on, it's inside. So whoever's closer, it'll charge. And I, I, I could mess with it and try and get them exactly the same, but I still don't know if that'll work. Because it looks like even when this one's charged... Uh, hold on, let's actually remove the bubble generator. Maybe that will tell us whether or not... Uh, where is it? Where did we put it? <laughs> okay, uh, this is this is like the weirdest episode ever. Um, the world just exploded, and it crashed, and it caused my computer to crash. And you can still see stuff in the distance. You can see it if you look hard enough, just flying. Uh, so yeah, my co co my complete computer crashed, and all of the footage, a good portion of the footage that I had is is now gone. And I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I, I I lost a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, so we did manage to. <laughs> okay, so weird episode, totally weird episode. And I apologize for it being so disjointed because I did a bunch of stuff again, and I was in unable to save the footage. It was uh, all. It was the sync was off. The audio sync was off again. And I don't know if that's related to my computer or my virus protection software or what. And then TerraTech exploded. And then I went back in and I tried to fix some of the, the footage and it, it was totally broken. So anyway, in the meantime, what I've done is, uh, of course, I built cabs and uh, cabs and uh, the AI module, the multi-seeker AI module for each one of these bases. And I actually destroyed a bad guy, got a whole bunch more guns to add to each one of these bases. So now all of our bases can shoot. <laughs> oh man, I hope this is recording okay because I have not had good luck today and I would really hate to lose even more footage. I Believe it or not guys, uh, I've played for about three and a half hours, four hours now today since I got home from work. I'm tired. I, I've had a blast with TerraTech, but I, it's been terrible fighting with my computer and fighting with uh, the recorder today. So I think I'm going to call this a day. Um, it was, uh, I think we've come a long way. Unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see a lot of it, but look at, look at what we've done. We've got three bases. Uh, now there, we're gonna, we're gonna make this better. It's just the beginning, but, uh, it's really, really cool. And I'm having a lot of fun. And we, the next step is to journey out into the, uh, no man's land. And of course, uh, possibly face more invaders. Oh, and yeah, the, the last guy I destroyed had actually, he actually had a battery on him, a uh, refinery and a generator. Isn't that awesome? Ah, uh, man. And you guys missed it. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, there's nothing I can do about it. But uh, next episode, hopefully I'll have all of these issues resolved. And I think one of them was a TerraTech issue. And that's why everything, it looks like the whole world has exploded. Like, look at all this. Everything all over the place. There's stuff everywhere. So anyway, um, next episode, we are going to get journey back out because we need to get uh, bubble generators, uh, regenerators, and I need like six or 12 of each. Like, we need a lot of stuff. So we're going to be journeying all over the place. And we're going to get, of course, uh, regenerators and stuff for our own vehicle too as well so that we can do that. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, I apologize for the disjointed nature of this episode. But I did my best, and I think we are still making progress. Okay, take care, guys.